Hello, welcome to my channel, Lady Jim. My name is Glennis. So I just uh, recorded the intro for um, part one of this call. And this is part two of this call. And then in part one, I spoke about why I'm giving you overhead shots of the products as opposed to me doing a talking head video, which is basically me sitting up here, reporter style. Um, today is Sultanicals. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I went slightly crazy with the Sultanicals that it deserved its own uh, separate haul video. Um, so hope you enjoy watching with me. Um, I think I said, I think I said it in the video. I recorded this like a few weeks ago. I think I've gotten enough Sultanicals to last me a lifetime. So. With that said, I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one. Here we go with Sultanicals. I don't even know where to get started, y'all. I made three different purchases. Um, so I'll just go with what's... Do I want to go wash day order? Let's do wash day order. Um, I'll start with this. Um, uh... There's a reason why my nails are like this. <laughs> See the other video. Um, the so all most of these are sultanicals. Actually, with the exception of this, I pr uh, forgot to show this in the previous haul, and I get the feeling I'm missing something out of this too. With this Obia Naturals, this is a body moisturizer. I thought it was a hair lotion, but anyhow, it's a body moisturizer. There's a reason I had this separated. But I'll come back to this in a minute. But anyhow, the rest are sultanicals. <sighs> this is their anti frizz. So that's the A. Cuticle, that's the C. Vitalizer, that's the V. Um, but it does have apple cider vinegar in it and aloe gel. It's their clarifying shampoo. I, I don't think, other than, I don't have any um, traditional shampoos from sultanicals other than this one the others i'm just making sure right i don't think this is a co-wash the others are actually co-washes so i have this apple cider vinegar clarifying shampoo it's does it have black soap yeah it has black soap so it's a black soap um and apple cider vinegar and i'm actually Currently using um, AG Air uh, apple cider vinegar shampoo. And that sucker is stripping. So I'm assuming this is stripping too. This does say, at least this does say clarifying. All right. So, you know, it does tell me that it's a clarifying. So then I have their Hair to the Rescue Afrovedic Not Goo Ambunu. Rasul Clay Co-Wash, which is interesting of itself. Clay Co-Wash. Okay. Um, Ambunu is an indigenous African plant, which I have a video um, testing out the herb in a pre-poo. I haven't um, finished editing that video yet. Um, but it says Ambunu is an indigenous African plant which cons contains saponin, which produces a natural cleansing ability. As well as detangling properties, yes, I can, I can, I can definitely attest to the detangling properties, and it does become um, a little soapy. Along with its mild cleansing properties, Ambunu is an effective antioxidant, emollient, and anti-inflammatory ingredient, making it effective solution for irritated scalp. I don't have irritated scalp, but. Nonetheless, Rasul clay, also known as red clay or gasul clay or Moroccan clay, hmm, is a natural mineral clay harvested from the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. This reddish brown clay has been used by women since the 8th century for hair and skin care. Rasul is excellent for drawing out impurities and toxins, removing product buildup and cleansing hair without stripping it of its natural oils. 
It nourishes hair with essential minerals and vitamins, moder- moisture- modernizing, <laughs> moisturizing, and softening the hair while it cleans. It also helps with curl definition. I need curl definition. I need clumpage. I need my hair to be soft. So let's see, let's see what are the ingredients. And I will scoot this up some more so you can see. This has water, BTMS, cedar alcohol, Rasul clay, African black soap. So actually it looks like it has the, the way how I'm reading it, the individual ingredients that make up African black soap. So cocoa, cocoa pot ash, plantain skin ash, palm oil. Then it has the ambunu, flaxseed oil, amla, bramri, aretha, shikaikai. All these are Ayurveda products. Um, ingredients that also help with cleansing, pro vi- pro vitamin five, guar gum, and I'm assuming the other stuff are ooh, preservatives. So, hair to the rescue is an Afro Beta co wash chicken strings. Okay, oh, can't see what I'm reading. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. Um, I'm gonna show you all my complete, not not like go through individually my sultanical stash, but I, I, ha- I have plans for all of these sultanical products that I have. So then, y'all, this is where you have, you know, you have a shopping problem. Sultanicals, well, sultanicals, I believe, I don't, I know they had a rice shampoo, butter shampoo, but I don't know if it was called Sprout, what that I bought last year, but I know, I bought the liter size of their rice sprout rice. Jesus Lord, I've been talking all morning. Their sprout rice vitamin butter shampoo, which is like a co wash. I have the liter size, and when they announced the um this the new line, I didn't look in my stash to see that I, I you know I'm in my head. I was thinking, oh, it's I don't have it. It's a new line because that's what they said. Um, but not realizing that the butter shampoo is not new. I already have it in my stash. But when I got to the store, I pick up not one, but two, because A, I love their butter shampoos and B, someone had opened one of it and left it open and I took a whiff, the smell of it and it smelled beautiful. So I was like, Ooh, I need two of you. <laughs> so. I got two plus the leader, which I am honestly contemplating taking them back, but I lost the receipt. I already, actually, I didn't lose the receipt. I actually put the receipt in the trash. I'm contemplating taking these two back because I already have the leader size of this and getting the deep conditioners or one deep conditioner and one of the nut sauce, but I don't know. Anywho, I have two of the rice butter shampoo. I love their butter shampoos. They're like perfect co-washes for me. So then those, wait, I have more shampoo, butter shampoo, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, child. This is why, and I have other butter shampoos. And this is why I'm thinking seriously to take these two back, but I don't know, man. I have the Mega Greens, which I've never tried this one. They're Mega Greens butter shampoo. Now this one says heavy shampoo buttercream. The others, I don't think, says heavy shampoo. Um, and of course, this is the liter size. Um, and these are the ingredients. Hopefully, you can see. If not, I'm going to pull it so that you can see. There we go. Looks like it has some interesting ingredients. Things that usually are in there. So it has, this one has bentonite clay. Um, and their standard... Uh, You know, this is for you if you like certain kind of a cleanser. So um, this one has bentonite, rosemary. Well, some of the call out is bentonite, rosemary, and superfoods, whatever superfoods are. Oh, I guess oat grass. Okay. No, I don't sound excited, but I am. (laughs) Because I've been waiting for... (laughs) I've been waiting for this stuff to arrive. All the the previous video and this video been for the most part been sitting because I've been waiting on sultanicals to come and they finally came yesterday. So 
I've been talking a whole lot. Anyhow, so those are my butter shampoos or, and or my shampoos. And then with the sprout rice, which I probably should just go in a complete order or thingy, their sprout vernacular, follicular, vernacular, follicular rice tonic. Um, I bought just one. Oh, um, interestingly, these are only $10 or $9, 9 or $10. It's either $9 or $9.99 at Walmart. And yeah, so this, the instruction says to, after you've cleansed your hair with their shampoo, is to apply this onto your hair, massage onto scalp, leave it on for 20 minutes. This is a rinse out. So, um... Yeah, this is a rinse. It's a, like you shampoo, then rinse your hair. And then I'm assuming you go in with a conditioner afterwards. I don't know. Um, so, and this also smells good. This I had accidentally, um, yeah. Oh, it smells really good. It smells clean. I, and I, this was accidentally open on, on me. Um, and it smells clean. It smells nice. It doesn't smell stinky. What, what I would think um rice would smell but it doesn't and i'm not mad at it so i have that okay and then i have and i'm gonna go through the conditioners that i have the deep conditioners right yeah i'm gonna do that next so i have i bought two of this two of these the Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat. Now, why does it say elastic? I'm assuming the only what why it would say, and I because I literally I have not even looked at the ingredients. Um, nor have I looked at the claims, but I'm let's see, let's see, let's see. Water, aloe vera leaf, juice, BTM, acid alcohol, vegetable glycerin, olive oil, avocado oil, stuff that my hair loves, guar gum, panthenol B5, shea butter, alma fruit powder. Yeast ferment extract, rice bran. No, wait. It just said, no, rice extract, brown rice, organic rice, black rice, hydrolyzed rice protein. Okay, so that's why it's the elastic. So it has protein in it. And then preservative. Yes. Um, This buttery, creamy, nutrient-rich, deep conditioner provides hair growth and detangles thick hair. Yes, I love that. Um, hair strengthening alma fruit and hair thickening. I don't need no thickening, nothing. My hair is already thick. Um, I need it to, um, give me clumpage, which it does says, curl popping, um, and soften my hair, which I have not tried, surprisingly, y'all. I have not tried any of their deep conditioners yet. I need to get going. <laughs> so I have that. Um, and then I also have their new Ambunu um, mask is their Super Fro Ambunu Hair Grow Scalp Defense Hair Intense Mask. Now, this one has, it says cayenne pepper. I've seen some people, you know, mentioned in their videos that how this, this stuff burns their scalp. Scalp stimulating, detangling, deep condition provides scalp relief while preventing buildup from common problems that cause hair loss like dandruff and fungal um, infections. Again, I don't ha have any of those issues, but we shall see. We shall see. I'm scared. It says cayenne pepper. Mm. Here are the ingredients. Distilled water, slippery M, Ambunu, BTMS, seed alcohol, extra virgin olive oil, flaxseed oil. This is the ingredient that makes... Um, that's common in Sultanicals um, conditioners. That is a dupe for silicone. It makes that makes Sultanicals. Now again, I have not used any of Sultanicals conditioners, but I've heard and seen enough videos that folks mention that their conditioners are very slippery. Um, and in, in order for you to get that slip without putting, without using, uh, like a botanical ingredients, this is a derivative or not a derivative. It's a dupe, so to speak of, um, silicone. This will give you the, the feel of, of silicone, like what silicone will do. 
this is what this ingredient does. Now, I don't know if it's natural. Um, I don't, I, with this name, I don't know. I can't say, but whatever. It's not silicone, but it gives the same thing that was silicone will do. Um, and then all the other stuff. I've gone on and on about this already. So here's another deep conditioner. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, this one, this, um, this was, this, this aromatic fenugreek mask, this, I think I did a haul in, in December and this was supposed to be in the haul, but because of the backup, um, of the delivery of USPS, which they still have a backup because I, my, some of my Sultanicals products they didn't arrive on their date of uh they were supposed to but anyhow this came in january but it came and i and i yeah it came and it it came with this and so um and a short very short pump so i had to reach out to sultanicals and actually they sent me a new pump for this so i have the new pump again i have not used any of the conditioners so i have the eight ounce of this and I also have the leader size of it or the salon size, whatever they want to call it. So here are the ingredients. Um, and here are the claims. Y'all, I have enough sultanicals. Yeah. To last me a lifetime. Okay. Let me see. Is that all of my, con my deep conditioners? I believe so. So then let's go into some other stuff. Um, I will go with their nut sauce. <laughs> There's their coil detangler. Um, I again got it from Walmart, got the two. Um, I'm sorry, here are the ingredients. Looks good. Doesn't look like anything that I wouldn't. Um the only thing I, like I said, the only thing I've tried from Sultanicals is their butter shampoo. I need to do better. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I can't tell you. The only thing is what I do know is, um, this is full to the brim. The, their core line, um, nut sauce. It's like that I got from Sally's stops right here. Like that's a full, that's one huge, one full use. So I have two of that. Um, now, wait, hold on. The reason why I forgot, and I'm, I was going to mention this earlier, is this is an eight ounce bottle, and this is an eight ounce bottle. See how full this is? This went all the way up here. This, Obia, right? Obia Naturals. Yo, I'm I'm missing like, a month's worth of body lotion usage right here or whatever I do with this. Cause honestly, I thought this, like I said, it was a hair product, but anyhow, the point is this is not a full eight ounce. I want my full eight ounce. They're lucky it was like five or $6 for this, but anyhow, <sighs> back to Sultanicals, <laughs> the Moroccan silk, Moisture milk. Oh, this was in this and this was in their anniversary box. And I did not want the full anniversary box. Um, I really didn't want the oils and something else. There are other few things I didn't want. So I actually reached out to them and said, Hey, are you guys going to sell some of the things in the box separately? They never responded back, but they did start selling some of the stuff separately. So I got this, um, the shampoo and I got the milk. I also wanted the deep conditioner, but I missed it. You know, I mean, it was sold out whenever or whatever, or, and then, and, or, and, or when it came back, I refused to spend $8 or no, $7 in shipping. So I was like, forget it. I'm <laughs> just whatever. I have enough deep conditioners from Sultanicals. Um, so I was like, forget it. But this rice milk is my friend, y'all. Smooth, creamy, and naturally quenching. This silky botanical leave-in is coil friendly, and I have coils, and totally rich. Enhanced rice milk, creamed honey, and strand softening argan oil. And oh, 
literally that's my my goal for this year are to use are to find and use products that it's called softening because that's the feel but um i want to say not not necessarily scientific but the 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 technical thing is is that it's some, the things that will bring down my ph and don't make my hair feel you know uh, my cuticles are raised and matted and whatnot. So that's that's what I'm looking for in products is to make my hair feel soft, soft and supple. So I'm hoping that this will, this, it has guar silk. My hair loves silk. My hair loves protein. So then I have that. And then <laughs> this is a Mad Curls made me um, purchase this. Actually, I was hunting this down. I was going to buy it from this other brand, but it keep on being sold out. But then I found this other, what did I, um, flawless, I think. Yeah. That's where I got this from. Um, the thing though, is that this is, what's her name? Tay Taylor Ann's favorite, but Taylor Ann, I think her hair, my hair is not like her hair at all. Um, but anyhow, she talked enough about it. So. I chased it down, hunted it down, and I bought it. Um, so it's their Curl Supreme Conditioning Dream with um, arrogant, no, with arrogant oil and carrot seed oil. This super creamy, I'm sorry, this super nourishing creamy conditioner softens, there again, detangles curly tresses while addressing crazy, while adding crazy slip and comb through spreadability. Wash day dream in about... Oh yeah, this does say I'm gonna be using. Oh, this is my nail polish, y'all. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, I'm gonna use this as a leave-in. And here are the ingredients. Again, there's that. I can't pronounce it. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Word that um gives the the, the feel of silicone in the hair, but it's not silicone. So there's that. <laughs> And then there's this, the mango dip detangling slip in their salon size. Um, sink your tresses into this detangling mango delight. A, oh, I thought it says a clip. A dip of this cuticle smoothing moisturizer. Again, what I'm looking for, I want it to smooth my cuticles, make them feel soft, make them feel sil silky. That's what I'm looking for. Sultanicals got a lot to live up to. Um, is all it takes to satisfy the thirstiest hair penetrated knotted extra dry hair and nourish strands to supernatural i'm looking for this supernatural softness sultanicals so better live up to its name mango extract blue malava flowers and procoxy oil softly melts and smooths each strand yes child oh it says to do the happy dance now if you watch um i think it's qvc what's that guy there's a guy on there that sells food he does the happy dance when he finds something that he likes or people prompts him to do the happy dance. That's kind of like um, his version of five star when he does the happy dance. So that means, I guess, this will I, I will get to the ha do the happy dance. This is going to be a five star product. But anyhow, here are the ingredient listing in case you have not seen or you want to see it. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. And not that I need any more gels, but I got two gels. <laughs> now I have, I have their frozen drip and grip, um, gel. And so I, then I saw these two again from the same website. So I got them. Um, I think, I mean, the only other one that's, I would probably get is their cool boosting jelly, but they didn't have them. I didn't get it. Um, but after that, so I'm going to say after, after I get that, I'm going to be done with sultanicals because y'all. So what I got is their clump and curl Afro vegan styling custard and their curl glaze hair glaze, marshmallow root coconut oil and blue malava. Let's go with this one first. Um, here are the ingredient listening. Okay. 
Um, it's claims slip into natural hair blast with this moisturizing, shine enhancing, and also curl luscious plant blade, plant based hair gel. Okay, and then this one does not have. Yay! It does not have carboner or maltodextrin. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, this one does. <laughs> this one has cellulose carboner. Okay, good. It does not have maltodextrin, but yeah. Um, so it, this might or might not dry my hair out, but we shall see. We shall see. Tightly coil hair for for very tightly coil hair, and I have that. So I'm excited to try that. And then lastly, Fluffalicious Curl Nutrition. <laughs> so tentacles on these names. Avocado oil, weed germ oil, and calendula. Um, this is a styler, right? This is, what is, what is this, y'all? What is this? Water, is, um, what is it? It doesn't say. Wow. Okay. I'm assuming that I will put this over, um, a gel or make this a twisting cream or something. What is this? Known as the world best in curl hair, one scoop and dry part share, Bluffalicious adds moisture and nourishment from Okay, so it's a moisturizer. Cha. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this um over a gel. Probably this hair this curl blaze hair glaze because this looks um very light. I don't know if it has um a lot of hole because it's you know. But anywho, that's it. Like I said, I think. I think I don't I want to say I'm I'm done with sultanicals. But y'all like I suck it in every time. But I literally the only other thing that I'm um I want is that coil boosting jelly, but I think that I need to finish some some other gel um or a couple of gels before I even attempt to get that curl boosting jelly i am going to sign off for now from sultanicals because like i said i have enough products to probably last me a year or more um thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one